I'm always looking for ways to do things more efficiently, more faster. And when it comes to building websites, that really involves maybe reusing something that you've already created. Because why start from the beginning if you've already created it? You just need to reuse something that you created. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to reuse what you create using WordPress's new block editor named Gutenberg. It's going to be super easy and you're going to see how powerful it is. It's a lot like page builders these days and the power that they have as well. So if that interests you, stick around. Remember to subscribe and click on that notification bell if you want to know when new videos like this are uploaded for you. Let's just jump into the tutorial here. All right, so I have a WordPress installation all ready to go. Gutenberg's on here. This is version five of WordPress. So I'm gonna go to all posts and let's just go ahead and create a new post right here. So I'm gonna quickly give this a title. Okay, I give it a title and now what I'm gonna do is create some content using Gutenberg. So I'm gonna create a title area and I'll use a color in the background and I'll have a title written out inside of it. And the way we do that is very simple with Gutenberg. You can just click on the plus right here or if you know the name of the block, you can just hit the slash and then start typing the name of the block and that way you don't have to use your mouse at all. So for this, I'm gonna use the cover block right here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is choose an image. I know I said I was gonna choose a color. I'll just choose an image instead. So let's see what I have in my media library. I have a few images. How about this one right here? And that looks like the perfect size. And then right here, I'm gonna enter a title. Okay, so I've entered in, let's work smarter and harder. Let's go ahead and make some adjustments here. So what if I wanted to put maybe a colorful tint I've got the blue there and then let's just adjust that down a little bit like that and it kind of changes the way that the image looks and I think this is great now instead of having to redo this if I wanted to use this on other parts of my website all you have to do is use this reusable block feature that is in Gutenberg. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on it right here and then we have the three dots that appear on top of the block. Now when you click on that, there's an option right here that says add to reusable blocks. Now when we click on it, we just need to give this reusable block a name. So I've gone ahead and named this blog post header just like this. Now all I have to do is click on the save option here on the right. Now I've gone ahead and created a reusable block. Now there's a couple things we can do with this. We can obviously reuse it. We can have this be linked and every time you use this, if you make a change in one location, it will change everywhere where you use this reusable block. So let me show you how to actually use this reusable block. So I'll go ahead and um, save this or publish this and say I wanted to create a new post all over again. I would give it my title, but now what I would do is I would click on the plus, I would scroll to the bottom here and that's where it says reusable blocks. Now when we click on it, we see a list of all of our saved reusable blocks. This is that new one that I just created. Now if you scroll all the way down, there's this option to manage all reusable blocks. We'll take a look at that in a moment. So I'm gonna click right here to block post header, which is what I just created, and there it is. So now I can, if I wanted to edit this and it would edit it in both locations, I could just click right here where it says edit. If I wanted this to be separate and not linked with where I initially created this, I can click on the three dots again and I can choose this option here that says convert to a regular block. Now when I do that, now it's no longer linked with the other one. And so that's a great use if you say create a call to action that you wanna use at the bottom of your blog posts. You can make it a global block, use it all over the place and whenever you wanna change something, a, a word, a phrase, a color, you would just change it in one location, it changes everywhere. Okay, so now I wanna show you how to manage your reusable blocks. So unfortunately, they don't make this easy. There should just be a link somewhere in the menu area for that, but it doesn't exist like that. It's okay, I'm sure that will happen at some point. So scroll back down to reusable, and then we'll expand it, and then we have this option that says manage all reusable blocks. When we click on that, uh, it'll take us there, but I'm, I haven't saved this, but I'm gonna click on this leave option. Now here is where all those saved blocks are. And guess what? You can import and export saved reusable blocks. So if you create 
a set of blocks that you use a lot and you have different websites, maybe you're making websites for people, you can go in here and export, you see right there it says export, export, you can export a reusable block and then you would go to the next website, click on import and just simply import that reusable block. It's very easy. Now here's the thing, when you are in a blog post, or a page and you save a block, you're only able to save a block, not a section of blocks. So um, take this scenario, say you have a content writer writing for you and you want to always start with the same uh, framework of a blog post. Uh, you identify the problem, you show the solution, just the same format. Well, you can't really just Restore it really easily if you have to do block by block at a time, but here's what you do. You go in here. I can go into that block I just created, blog post header. Check this out. This is what I created, and guess what? You can create additional blocks that will be linked and also reusable in this one file swoop. So if I wanted to add a block right here, say it's a list, and I'll just fill this out with some info. There it is, it says option one, two, three, and it's also with this same piece of content, which was the blog header that I created. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on update. So now, check out what happens. If I go to, like I did a moment ago, and I go to create a brand new post, and I wanna use that reusable block, and I click on the plus, and I scroll down, I click on reusable, and then I go here to blog post header, see what happens now. When I click on it, it also brings in that extra bit of content that I added to it. See how simple that is. So if you do have that situation where you have a content writer, you can have the framework of a blog post that the very first thing they do is restore, then they have the whole format all ready to go, and it makes it a lot easier, a lot more efficient and fast to build out content for your website. Now wasn't that incredibly easy to do and powerful. The one thing I would hope is that WordPress would add a menu link in the admin area to that reusable location where everything's stored. Right now there isn't an option there. I have contacted one of the add-on developers. It happens to be the number one add-on developer uh, or uh, add-on for Gutenberg called Ultimate Add-ons for Gutenberg and I asked them to create an option so that there'll be a menu link to go to those reusables and be able to easily get to import, export, create them, expand them, whatever you want to do, just to make it a lot easier. So anyways, if you found some value in this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. Uh, remember to subscribe, click on that notification bell if you want more tutorials like this sent directly to your inbox by YouTube. You can have it. If you have any questions about Gutenberg, uh, ask me down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.